This is Dustin Wiggins, and uh, we just had a little downpour here for about three hours today. Uh, the sun's finally came out, and uh, we came out to see what we could do with building a solar fire. As you can tell, uh, we have got a pretty good fire going right there. A good start of a fire. And I'm going to show you how we did that using a uh, cheap magnifying glass, solar magnifier. Uh, you can get those at Walmart. Uh, a lot of bookstores will have them. Um, people use them for magnifying their books. And the secret ingredient is using char. So we're going to show you how to use char to build a fire after a downpour in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so one of my first steps is I found this rotted log in the side yard. Um, we're going to go in here and get this really light rotted wood. It's extremely punky. Um, it's almost like styrofoam. It's so lightweight. We're going to get some of this because this will ignite very easily um, once we get our chard heated up. So I've got this piece of wood here. It's got a nice little hollow spot in there. That's where I'm going to set my char. Uh, it should be able, once it gets going, to heat it all up and begin uh, getting us some nice warm coals. Okay, so we're getting that sunbeam directed on there. Turned out really well. We just had uh, the sun behind the clouds, so I think this is going to work pretty well. Rascal started. Oh yeah, that sun's coming out really nicely now. All right, we're starting to catch a little bit. Blowing on the fire to get the coals nice and hot. All right, we're started. Got one of the drier pieces of char here, or punk wood. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stick this right here.
As you can see, we've successfully got this punk wood. <clears throat> um, very hot. The coals are very warm. Um, all it's going to take is a little bit of more blowing, and we'll get this thing going. I'll show you here in just a second. Literally about one second after I turned off the camera, I got the thing blowing again. So let's see if we can do this. And there is fire. So it is possible to build a fire even after a heavy downpour. Um, just got to have the right materials, know what you're looking for. And uh, this is one way of doing it. Um, it's the best way I've found so far. And uh, depending on your area, I know that uh, mosses can be used and things like that. Um, but around here, uh, this is worked really good for me. If you can get some good punky wood from a rotted log, <clears throat> you're likely to be able to start a good fire. So thanks for watching.